This is Data Specialist Sanders of the Ongoing Data Redundancy Project. SCP-192, Object Class is Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-192 is safely contained within SCP-192-F. SCP-192-F is located in Room 924, a standard Foundation Grade R secure room rated for radioactive objects in Site 125A's North Wing. Room 924 must always have at least four functioning Geiger counters. An inspection of Room 924's radiation proofing and the Geiger counters must be carried out fortnightly. The housing for SCP-192 must not be breached under any circumstances. Removal of any section of external casing of SCP-192-F must only be carried out during scheduled weekly maintenance by Level 2 staff under the supervision of a Level 3 assigned to this floor. Any breaches in the casing of SCP-192-F must be reported to Site 125A Facilities Management. Any breaches in the housing of SCP-192 must be treated as a radioactive object containment breach as defined by Foundation and Site 125A guidelines, and a full evacuation of North Wing will be carried out by all staff. Please see Document 192-CU for cleanup and recontainment instructions based on current object analysis. Access to the room containing SCP-192-F for testing purposes can be granted by written request to Site 125A Administration staff, but will require the approval of at least one Level 3 assigned to the ninth floor. This member of staff must be present for all testing. Description SCP-192 is a vacuum X-ray tube that forms the primary component of a diagnostic X-ray machine manufactured by Redacted, with diagnostic use commencing on Redacted. This machine was designated SCP-192-1. When an image is produced by a machine with SCP-192 inside, the area examined on the subject will be modified via unknown means to match the image eventually produced. This has the effect of introducing or removing injuries or disease from the subject, in accordance with the image. SCP-192 emits a high quantity of alpha and beta radiation, exceeding recommended annual dose limits for Foundation personnel within one minute of constant exposure. These emissions are present even when SCP-192 is not being used and disconnected from any sort of power supply. This is believed to be due to the materials used in the construction of SCP-192's cathode based on current working theories. Maintenance Update Containment of SCP-192 by SCP-192-1 has shown to not be complete. Imperfections in the manufacturing process combined with the initial testing conducted by Site Redacted A have weakened SCP-192-1's casing. A request for relocation of SCP-192 and a re-evaluation has been submitted to Regional Command. Site Update 192-M-1471607220 was successfully carried out on Redacted 2014. All Foundation staff at Site Redacted A have been transferred to Site 125A and Site Redacted A has been decommissioned. SCP-192-F a Foundation-constructed replica of SCP-192-1 was constructed at Data Redacted and installed at Site 125A prior to the move operation. Actual radiation doses during regular operation of SCP-192-1 were within standard safety margins, and this remains the case with SCP-192-F. The presence of SCP-192 was discovered by a covert Foundation operative tracking SCP Redacted. The operative was requested to be present during the initial examinations performed by SCP-192-1 and was the first staff member at Redacted Hospital to witness its effects. The operative notified the Foundation, and the other three non-Foundation staff present were successfully given Class A amnestics. A research team was subsequently sent in and the room containing SCP-192-1 was quarantined. Results of the investigation into the origin of SCP-192 can be viewed in document 192-I redacted. From testing of SCP-192, the following outcomes have been noted to occur with no consistent pattern. Any change in a subject appears to occur approximately 3 seconds after the X-ray image is taken. Image result. Image clear of any disease or injury. 
Effect. Subject is fully treated with no further issues or complications. Image. Presence of a trauma-induced fracture injury of considerable displacement. Effect. Imaged bone is fractured to an identical level of displacement. These injuries always appear to have occurred within the last 24 hours, even in subjects who have been isolated before the examination. So far, SCP-192 has not produced any images where bones have perforated internal organs or penetrated the subject's skin. Image. Presence of cancerous cells within the area examined. Effect. Subject will show development of a cancerous growth in this area. These tumors have never exceeded T1N0M0, but in all cases have been malignant. Biopsies on several subjects have shown no differences between cancer caused by SCP-192 and cancer occurring naturally in humans. Success of subsequent treatment has been dependent on the original location of the cancer. Image. Presence of foreign body located inside the subject. Effect. Foreign body will be found within subject if further surgery is performed. The object appears to be random, but is usually a surgical tool for performing operations on the examined area. No departments within Site Redacted A have reported any odd disappearances of surgical or other medical equipment. During one test to determine if SCP-192 could be used as a means of treatment by repeating an examination in an already examined subject, SCP-192 produced a blurry image, which had the resulting effect of data expunged, almost instantly killing subject D-192-03. Redacted. See Incident Report 192-03 Redacted-02. The personnel operating SCP-192 during this test were referred for immediate psychiatric evaluation.